Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I want to share with you an idea for a challenge that we're having inside the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Two weeks ago-ish, I decided to share some ideas that I had about embellishing items to put into a journal, and one of those was making a faux envelope out of a piece of folded paper and then putting a band around it. This band has a magnetic closure. I don't know if you can hear it. Maybe if I put it closer to my mic, you'll hear the little click. And this was using some book pages. One of them was a book page that I painted and the other is out of a hymnal. And I use a flower and a magnet to hold that together. And then I made another one just before I recorded this video just to give you another idea. So this was a gel print strip on top of a piece of red paper that wraps around and it too has magnets in it so that it snaps shut. So I thought I would show you how to make one of these and then you can use this idea and make your own and then share it inside the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. All right, so I'm looking at my paper. You know, you can fold them different sizes. So I'm gonna do this one even different than the first one I made. So Let's go in about an inch and fold this down. And we'll do the same over here. So that'll be a long skinny envelope. And I will fold in this edge. So what is that? Roughly almost two inches down. If I start here and fold that in. And then I'll take this piece and try to make it even. And then fold it down, leaving a little bit of a gap here at the top. And then I'm going to fold this up just a little bit. And then I'll fold this to go underneath. So it's kind of similar to the one I made the other day. And then I'll just use my bone folder, or you can use an old credit card, or the back of your scissors, however you can, to smooth this out. So I've smoothed it all out and then I'll go around the edges with some distress ink to kind of really define the edge of the envelope. I just re-inked my ink pad so it's really dark. It'll fade a little bit as it dries. All right, I think that looks pretty good. So I found this book page and I know that you have to turn it wrong side and I also want to double it because it's really thin. It is a page out of an old Spanish Bible that was falling apart. So I'm folding it over and I'm pretty confident that this will go around, see there, my piece. So what I want to do is glue this together. So I'm just going to come in here and add some glue and then smooth this out. All right, so now that I've got that, I'm going to get my paper trimmer here. I have a strip that was laying on my desk. It's about a one inch strip of some scrapbook paper. So since this is one inch, roughly, if I wanted, I think I'm going to cut off to this edge. And then I want to go, let's see what a one and a quarter inches looks like. So I kind of audition my paper and lay that out. So it's just have a little bit of a sliver of the paper shining through behind. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that. We'll set these aside. Maybe I'll use them another day. All right. So if I'm looking at this piece, I want this to be my inside and this would be my outside and I want it to be right side up so I'm going to start right about here and fold this over and then come around and fold it up I still have I have it upside down still thought I had it right side up here we go that'll work so right about there, so I think I don't need it to come down too far. I just want it to come far enough that when I put a little embellishment there, it makes it easier to lift up. So I'm going to trim this to right about there. There's no precise measurements, okay? And then I'm going to come around this and add some distress inks on the edges. 
How is everybody? I hope you're well. I hope you're having a great week. Hope you're having a great day. Know that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'd love to have you come hang out with me. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm looking at this, and I want this to be the bottom, and this was going to be the top. So if I take this around, okay, so this will be the top, and this will be the bottom. What I want to do is line this up with the edge and cut it to be the same length as the other piece. I'm using thinner papers, so if your paper is too thin, you may have to kind of play with it a little bit to get it the way that you want. All right, so we want this piece here. So what I'm going to do is take my Fabri-Tac glue and put a dot probably right about in here away from the edge and I've got some magnets I'll have a link in the description box for the magnets that I use and I've got a little magnet and I'm gonna pop that into the glue in the center and then I'm gonna take this piece and put a little bit of glue and glue it over the top but I'm not gonna glue this in down here just where I put the magnet so that magnet is sandwiched between the paper and then using my previous fold marks I'll fold this over and just to keep it all lined up I'll go ahead and use my envelope so I have it the right size and then I'll fold it down so now I know that my little magnet is right here so I'm going to open this up and get it out of the way and grab another magnet and I'm gonna let it fall on top of that paper so we know that it is lined up with the one below because magnet, you know, polarized edges and so you wanna make sure you got them pointed the right direction. So I'm gonna put another drop of Fabri-Tac because we're dealing with metal and sometimes metal doesn't wanna stay put when you use just regular white glue or it leans tacky glue. And then I'm gonna put glue on the back side of this piece and press that into place. I'll even undo it so I can lay it flat. All right, we'll wrap this back around. And there it is. Now, I may have it up too high, which is okay. So I'm gonna trim this off just a little bit and I'll add some Distress Ink on it. And now I want to add some embellishment of some kind. So I've got some thread here. I think what I want to do is I used that same pink uh, flower earlier, but I think that would still look pretty on here. And I've got some thread. How about we do maybe this, what do I want? The lavendery or the blue? Let's do this lavenderish purple color and some blue. So I'm just going to grab some of this. This is old thread that if I put it in my sewing machine, it would be a painting because it would just keep breaking. So I'm just going to wad it up a little bit. And there's even another little piece of thread in there. And I'll grab my glue and put a little glue right over that magnet and then kind of put the fibers in there. Then I'll grab a little flower and let's glue that down. So you can punch your own flowers. You can use silk flowers, whatever you have. And I've got another little flower here. Put another one right there. Oh, here we go. I was trying to find some things to put on here. So I've got, got some bling so I'm going to grab a bling to put in the center of the flower and then I have this little word that I stamped that says thoughts and I thought well maybe maybe if we kind of stick it right here kind of poking out so I'm going to put a little glue on this corner and then attach it up under this flower just a little bit move things out of the way so you can see so there is 
just a little embellishment to go around the band or on the band and then this will pop open and then we can open this up and use our letter and so forth. So we got a couple little ideas, one where we added the word, this one's kind of a Christmassy theme. I mean, you can keep embellishing these as much as you want. I like these because they're relatively flat. They don't take up a whole lot of space. So if you want to pop that in your journal, you've got a pretty flat embellishment and it just kind of makes it a, a neat little touch to your journal. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, use the description box to find links to the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Use that description or the comments box down below. And I hope you'll come to my live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time and take some photos of what you create, your version, whatever it may be. You have a different way that you want to wrap around an envelope. Love to see it. Also, if you do a tutorial, let us know as well. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.